I'm Bob Nazari. I'm here participating with my car club, the Modifiers, and uh, we've been doing this annual show for about three or four years now. I've been involved in the hobby since the early 60s. Basically in awe of the older guys and wanting to do the same thing, building hot rods and custom cars and restoring antiques and stuff like that. Today I brought my 1966 Oldsmobile 442. I've had this car for seven years. It was a ground up restoration. The car originally came from Arizona. I purchased it from a gentleman out in Westboro. The car showed up here in Massachusetts about 28 years prior to the gentleman in Westboro getting it. It sat in a barn all that time. So basically we gutted the, the car, we gutted the interior, I replaced all the interior. We uh, restored the underneath, the bottom side of the car, is, it's like brand new. The car originally came from Arizona, like I said. Rust is not an issue on this vehicle. I, I'm attracted to Oldsmobile 442s, especially the A-body ones, the, the ones between 64 and 67. Basically, I wanted one. Well, first of all, the reason I'm here today is I'm supporting my friends in the Modifiers Club, and I'm a new member of the Modifiers as well. Uh, in addition to that, I'm the president of the Eastern Massachusetts Oldsmobile Club, the GMO chapter, which stands for, believe it or not, Gallant Men of Olds. Well, our club is, uh, is uh, centered in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Southern Maine, a little bit of Vermont. And we're basically the local chapter of the Oldsmobile Club of America. I'm the president of the club. I've been the president for about three years. I've been a member for almost 20 years. This is a 1966 Toronado. Uh, it is the first front-wheel drive vehicle that, that was invented in America since the 1937 Cord. I've had it for two years. I bought it from a, a fellow club member of our club. He was looking for a garage space in his garage to buy another Oldsmobile. He offered this one for sale and I, I took the bait and I bought the car. One of the unique parts of Oldsmobile is they're an extinct brand. They don't exist anymore. Uh, they were the first General Motors brand, so from a, from a longevity standpoint and a technology standpoint, they were, they, they were at the top of the GM heap. I bought it essentially in this condition. The car was resprayed, so it's fresh paint, but it is the factory correct color. The engine bay has been detail painted and cosmetically cleaned. Uh, the chrome is original, the interior is all original. Mechanically, it's all our transmission and engines all original. So we have a uh, we have an annual spring dust off show, which is at Kimball Farm in Lancaster, Massachusetts. It's the third Sunday in May every year. It's welcome to any Oldsmobile, so you don't have to be a member of the club to, to come to the show. And if you do bring your Oldsmobile, we'll try to recruit you to become a member of the club. I'm going to bring my '63 Oldsmobile '98 to the show next year. I will be back. You never know what's going to happen. All of these old cars are for sale, whether they're for sale or not. Someone comes along with a, a, an offer that you can't refuse, you sell it, and then you look for something else. 